as a homeless man. Prophet Ed Branson arrived at the church early morning as the church members got ready for the service. The church was ready and eagerly waiting to receive the man of God. Unknown to them, he lay helpless and hungry outside the church. He walked around the premises and no one gave him a second look or offered him help. Upon entering the church, glances and scornful looks were this man's portion. He proceeded to walk to the front and an uneasiness filled the church, grabbed and pulled off as he walked up to the altar. The church elders tried pulling him off, but to no avail, he managed to get to the pulpit. A familiar voice brought the church to a standstill. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can I ask a question? If I had come dressed in a suit, looking nice and sharp, if I had walked at the, from the back of the church like I normally do, would you have welcomed me the way you welcomed me today? I was outside of the church, sleeping at the entrance of the church. I was lying at the entrance of the church, at the entrance of the church. People were driving past, people were looking at me, people were laughing at me. After the laugh, they enter church. After they look at me and they see me as filth, they look to the side, they spit, they enter church. How many times a day do you pass and see someone like me in the streets and you ignore them? If it was me wearing my suit outside, you'd have ran outside, knelt down at my feet outside, worshipped me at my feet, touched my shoes. Because it is prophet Ed. It is easy to profess fake love. I was on the ground there outside. I walked here. People were passing me by. People were, as I was walking here, people were going on one side of the road because they did not want to smell me. People, when they'll see me, they'll change route and go the other way. This is someone who has come to church and in his hearts of hearts, he is saying, today, I want to meet Prophet Ed. But he bit Prophet Ed outside and they looked at him and disputed him. If Prophet Ed, if I was wearing my suit and I walked in here the way I walked in, everyone would have knelt at the back. But I walked, no one knelt. People looking at me say, Oh, what is this madman doing here? There are lessons that we can teach you by showing you scriptures, and there are lessons that we can teach you by showing you the scripture in life. You met the prophet outside, yet he is carrying your prophecy. You met the man of God outside, yet he is carrying your deliverance. 
you met the man of God outside. He is carrying your breakthrough. But you did not recognize him because he was not packaged in the way you expect him. So as a result, you did not entertain him. We have met many angels in our lives that God sent to us. But they were packaged in a way we did not expect. So we turned them away. The church needs to repent. And when I'm saying the church needs to repent, I'm not talking about my church. I'm talking about the body of Christ. If it was me outside, you'd have come and dropped $20,000, $40,000. Help the man of God is on the ground. Help the prophet is lying on the floor. Some who sold their properties and said, let's help the man of God to rise up again. Because you are seeing the man of God on the ground, so let's help him to rise again. If you can do it for the prophet, why can you not do it for the person in the street? You don't need prophecy. You don't need deliverance. You don't need healing. You need to repent. And have love. 